Okay, welcome back. We're getting ready to start turn three of uh, the Decision Games 30 Years War Quad Requois. Um, it's the French player turn, and this is just a brief overview of the battlefield at the moment. And we will start the disruption removal phase. Before we get started, I do want to apologize for the lighting. Um, I know it's substandard but uh, it's the best I can do at the moment. Um, probably if I filmed it by candlelight it would be better. Unfortunately I don't have any candles at the moment. So The second thing is I also want to apologize for the Franco-centric view of the videos. Um, but this is the best that uh, camera setup that I have at the moment. Uh, it'd be a pain to get over to the Spanish player side um, due to a lack of room. So, I just uh, want to start off with those two caveats, caveats, and we will proceed to do the French disruption removal attempts. Uh, this unit here in the middle of the screen will need a five or six. There are no leaders near it that can help it rally. It's not really called rally, but to me it's rallying. Die rolls a three, and it fails, so it will remain disrupted. Move over here. I don't think there's a whole lot we can do over here, but there's there might be a rally or two. Well, let's see here. Okay, this unit cannot uh, attempt to remove disruption. It's adjacent to a non. It's in the enemy zone of a non-disrupted unit. This unit, no. This unit, no. This unit, no. And this unit, yes. We can attempt to uh, rally that unit. Die roll is a four. It is adjacent to a leader with a plus two. Uh, so that is six, and it rallies. It's good to have a... Good to have a stronger unit... Uh, fill that gap there basically and that should make uh, that should do it for the French disruption phase removal phase now we will proceed to the French movement phase here we are at the end of the French players movement phase we have finally formed a continuous line across the entire map for the French player um, we have everybody in command except for the three infantry units there in the center of the screen. Um, they're going to form my reserve, but at the moment they're out of command, and I think that just reduces their movement by half rounded up. I have the undisrupted unit, it is also out of command, but it can only move two hexes max anyway. And then we have. Uh, I'm not sure. This is the Conde. Conde. Um, apparently, his name is actually. De, I don't know how you pronounce that. Injin. 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 But uh, this is the uh, Conde. He was a uh, famous French military leader. And he is going to move off to the right. To help reinforce this, uh, the French right flank, because it is beginning to crumble. So we will see if, uh, what he can do about that. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and proceed to the French player's combat phase, and we'll see what happens then. Okay, beginning of the French player turn three combat phase. Let's see what we have here. Um. You don't have to attack disrupted units, and you cannot attack with disrupted units. So, I guess, looking at the board, actually it's a map, map sheet. Um, I think... I'm not sure. I think this unit 
This French unit will um, attack this Spanish cavalry unit. That would be a 3 to 1 attack. Let me look at the combat results table real quick. It looks like you won about a 6 to 1 or 4 to 1. Uh, yeah, 4 and 5 to 1, you're still going to get a disruption exchange possibility. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, have both of these units attack this unit. So that would be 8 to 2, 4 to 1. Um, let's see, no leadership bonus. Four at four to one is Defender Disordered. It is already disordered, so it is eliminated. Disordered units, which receive another disorder, are eliminated. We'll put that over here in the um, victory point pile at the moment. Now what do we have? There is no advance after combat, just as there's no retreat. Um, let's see here. Either way, this will be a 10 to 2, 5 to 1. This will be a 10 to 2, 5 to 1. So that's what we'll. Or yeah, well, that's what we'll do. So we'll go ahead and attack with uh, Gassion against this Spanish cavalry. And that is 10 to 2 or 5 to 1. Or is a dis uh, defender disrupted? So, it's eliminated as well. Put it over here in the victory point pool. And what do we have left? We have these two units will attack this disrupted Spanish unit. And that is also 5 to 1. 3 at 5 to 1 is a defender disrupted. <clears throat> so, it also is eliminated. So it looks to me like the Spanish left flank has, um, or is in the process of evaporating. Um, let's zoom back out here. So, but during a Spanish player's turn, I'm sure he will pretty much eliminate most of these units here that are disrupted on the French player side. So to me like both sides well the French players right and the Spanish players left are uh, going to be um, in a world of hurt so we are finished now with the French player turn three and we will proceed with the Spanish player turn three okay here we are post movement Spanish player turn of game turn three. Just uh, a look at the final positions of the Spanish units. They've decided to close with the French on the Spanish right. In the center, they've advanced their tercios, but they're still uh, another turn away from engaging the French center. On the right, we're trying to close the gap uh, right here, but uh, the cavalry reserve is not quite uh, near enough yet. So we'll see what happens there. And then there was no movement, or I think I moved this unit from here to here. Um, but it uh, looks like the French right will probably collapse this turn. And we will see if we can get these units over there next turn uh, quick enough to close that gap. But anyway, that's uh, turn four stuff, so we're not there yet. So we're going to go ahead and resolve combat. There's going to be a lot of combat uh, this turn, so I will probably go ahead and just resolve it off camera and then... Uh, come back and do a quick report of the results so I will see you then okay here we are game turn three Spanish player end of combat um, Spanish player took it on the chin on his left flank um, we had a unit eliminated got uh, several more units disrupted 
Um, so it's not looking too good on the, over there. And panning across to the other side on the Spanish player's right flank. Um, pretty much a draw. Just looks like three of his units were disrupted and three French units disrupted, so pretty much a draw. However, I haven't recorded uh, the victory points yet, but um, we lost three French units this turn and three Spanish units this turn um, for the turn overall. So both sides are starting to rack up demoralization points and victory points. Anyway, we will proceed to game turn four um, in another video. So find the system interesting, um, plays really fast, and uh, it presents you with some tactical decision making in a very player friendly format. Um, yeah, so it looks to me like engaging with uh, enemy units is pretty much a gamble, unless you have high odds, which, you know, that pretty much applies to any game, any war game. But in this one, this system in particular, um, I don't know. I'm not sure yet, since we haven't engaged in the center, I'm not sure what to expect, but it looks to me like your line can just crumble in a short uh, short period. Um, so, I guess we'll find out. We're going to proceed on to game turn four, and with the French disruption removal phase. Am I calling that right? Yes. Disruption removal phase. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's all for this video.